All right, Aries, this is your season. Oh my God, Aries, Aries, Aries. All right, Aries, this is your season of business reading. This is about your, your business, your money, your wealth. Let's see what is going on. Remember, Aries, that this is your season. And um, what we see is uh, um, you, Aries, have to listen. Listen to which week you were born in, okay? Your season begins from March 21st until April 19th. You got to listen to which week you were born in. That is going to be helping you to understand who you are, okay? And it's going to be recognizing what it is that is better for you, Aries, okay? So, Aries, let's see what is happening. Remember, um, you, Aries, can choose the weak stone symbol, Choose a weak symbol that you were born in because this is going to be telling you about your materialistic stability or your wealth moving forward in um, your new solar year of the year 21 to 22. So we see um, that a lot of you have to find balance. Um, a lot of you want to move forward, but you can't. A lot of you, there's a lot of problems and issue that is coming up and transpiring. Um, and it's as if uh, you do not have any tools to move forward. And I see a lot of you Aries have to pay out a whole lot of money. All right. So Aries, remember, you can choose any one of these symbols that you, the week that you were fall under, choose the symbol. Listen to the week as I give it out. The last week is going to be a week for those people or some of you areas will have to pay out a lot of money this year or is going to be losing a lot of money in this coming solar year for you. All right, so let's go in and see. So we see the energy of balance. This is temperance, all right? And when the energy of temperance comes in, that is an earth energy and you're dealing with uh, patience, okay? And your patience is like running out. So if you were born the week of the the twenty first to the twenty nine, is as if your you you your patience are running out. Um, because it's as if you can't balance out the situation, you can't balance out your materialistic, um, financial, um, can't balance out situation at work, and can cannot balance out work and uh, study whatever is happening. You are very very impatient. It's not happening for you okay so it is in the reverse and whenever this energy comes up in the reverse it's about patience and it's about dealing with the virgos and the sagittarian all right so a lot of you um are dealing with the virgos and the sagittarian and whatever the problem is with a virgo and a sagittarian they're creating a whole lot of issues for you so if you are born in the first week the week of the 21st until the 28th, you're going to be dealing with a Virgo and a Sagittarian in this year. So right up to your birthday, these people are going to be creating a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issue in your world that you need to find some sort of a balance. But it's as if these people have pulled the wool on, uh, pulled the mat from underneath you and it's creating a whole lot of issues in your world. So Whoever this Virgo and the Sagittarian is, a lot of you have to contend with this Virgo and the Sagittarian. And this is giving you like as if you're, 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 you're uh, losing your, your patient with these people because these people are creating a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue in your world. And it's as if you're losing your patient. And it's as if uh, you feel as if uh, you need to make some sort of a changes because these people are creating too much chaos and issue into your world. So whoever that was born between the 21st and the 28th, you're having some real problems um, where you cannot uh, bring back, uh, um, you know, your patient is running out and it's because of a Virgo and a Sagittarian. So you have to be aware of this. As we look at the second symbol and the second energy for the people who were born 29th of March until the 4th of April, you have the energy of the chariot in reverse. The energy of the chariot should be supporting you, but it is in the reverse. The energy of the chariot has to do with movement. 
a lot of you wanted to change job. A lot of you wanted to make some sort of a change at the workplace, in the department. Uh, you wanted to change job. You wanted to change something about you. But there is a Leo and a Cancer that is creating a whole lot of issues around you. And truths are going to be coming out about a Leo and a Cancer. Whoever has been trying to move forward, but you can't get to move forward. There is a Leo and a Cancer that is creating a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues in your world. And you got to be aware of these people that is blocking or creating issues in your financial area. So they could be blocking your money. They could be blocking your business. They are creating issues and problems that you can't move forward. So whoever this Leo is and this uh, uh, and this cancer, you're going to be recognizing that a Leo and a cancer, um, for some of you is a Leo, for some of you is a cancer, for some of you are both a Leo and a cancer, that you are working with on the work floor that is creating a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issue, and you're trying to resolve the situation and trying to move forward, but these people have been conveniently putting issues and problems, they are going to be now moving out of your life because you're releasing them okay and it's the best thing to do is to release them so look under the symbol of the rose you got to choose the symbol of the rose then you can choose another crystal in order to, another symbol in order to understand what is transpiring because you're going to be finally releasing a cancer and a leo so that you can move forward okay because they are blocking you and blocking your financial flow and blocking you at the business or blocking you at the workplace and you're going to be releasing them because here it is you're opening up you're in the reverse with this energy of the chariot opening up and releasing these people so that you can move forward because these people have been creating a whole lot of blockages and a whole lot of issues and problems for you um, in a team, in um, your department, that sort of a thing. So you're going to, you Aries are going to be releasing these people out of your way um, when it comes on to work in order for you to move forward. So go and look at the energy of the rose, then you can choose any other energy in order to understand. But the message that they're giving is that a Cancer and a Leo, whoever this Leo and this Cancer is, has been placing blocks um, in your business, in uh, your the flow of your money. And this is what is creating a whole lot of issues for you. And you're going to be recognizing this and it's going to be picking up uh, and it's going to be making changes and creating a better stability, a better flow in your world in order to create your wealth okay so um that is powerful so choose the energy of the rose because the energy of the rose is going to be advising you as to how to deal with these people and treat these people in order to release yourself and release these people um out of your life so that you can move forward in a much positive direction then we are moving forward to the third week. The third week is from the 5th until the 11th of April. And in this third week of the 5th until the 11th of April, what we're here dealing with in this third week of the uh, 5th um, to the 11th is that you are dealing with the magician. So these are powerful energies. And if you recognize uh, Whoever is born between the 5th of April and the 11th of April, the energy of the magician is in reverse, okay? Whenever we have the energy of the magician in a reverse, that is a air symbol. That is uh, the opposite sign of you. You're dealing with the energy of a, a Gemini, okay, and communication. So your communication skill is not the confidence that you should have is not there okay it's as, it's as if a lot of you um aries have lost your confidence so if you were born the 5th of april till the 11th of april you lose your confidence whatever um that is creating issues for you is communication your communication skill or creating a whole lot of issues for you aries and a gemini um is um, creating a whole lot of situation where you have the confidence that you used to have is no longer there. So what I would advise you 
um, Aries to do is that uh, this year you're going to be have to rebuild your confidence because a lot of you have lost your confidence because of a Gemini. Whoever this Gemini is have created some sort of an obstacles and situation for you where you have lost your um, confidence. And here we recognize that communication for some of you is going to be a problem. This year is not a year. So if you're in sales, it is going to be very hard. Anything to do with communication for you, Aries, it's going to be very hard in this year because you're recognizing that it's some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem, some sort of an inst instant flow is not being flowing properly in your life because of some sort of a communication situation. So Aries that was born the 5th till the 11th, you got to recognize that this year that is coming up, your confidence, you're going to be losing your confidence and you're losing your confidence in the, the, the area of communication. So it's not going to be a good year for salespeople or people who have to use their communicate um, to in your job. It's not going to be a very good year. So you got to be aware of this Aries because some sort of an inconsistency insignificant situation is coming up and it's transpiring where you're recognizing how a whole lot of uh, issues and problems is going to be coming up for you because communication is not going to be your strongest um, suit in this year and this is going to be affecting you until your next solar birthday in 2022 so you gotta be aware of this the energy of the magician um comes up uh, with um you recognizing it's a mercury energy so mercury is about the communication so be aware of this you need to choose the symbol of the dice okay and the symbol the message under the dice is going to be helping you how you can regain your confidence and it's going to be showing you issues and situation that you were not aware of that has been affecting your life and is uh, um affecting you in um, different ways and you can use the symbol of the dice in order to help you and choose another symbol as you go along okay all right let's look at the fourth week the fourth week is from the 12 until the 19 the energy of the 12 until the 19 we are dealing with the um the um ace of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is always about in an external success so, but this inner and external success is coming up. So this is going to be good. So people who were born the fourth, um, the fourth week, the 12th, um, until the 19th, this is going to be very, very good. It's going to be a very good year. Money is going to be coming in. Money is going to be coming in and out. It's about giving and taking, but it's about internal and external success, which is going to be extremely good for you. The Ace of Pentacles in business is always about success in, in and out of success that is going to be transparent. So you guys are going to be having a very, very good year. There's no question about this. I mean, anything that you go for, any business transaction that you try to do, it is going to be good because this is going to be exhilarating you because you're, a lot of you are on the cups of Taurus and the cups of Taurus is about the second house and the second house is about wealth and stability. So this is going to be very, very, good for you um areas so look under the energy of the ring and you can go back and choose any other energy to see what is transpiring because you are going to be having a very successful year in and out of success is going to be coming up for you and you're going to be exhilarating and your materialist uh, your money your flow um, your money flow is going to be coming back and whatever business you start in this year is going to be bringing you financial stability in the future because you see the hands is showing in the future that whatever you start now is going to be bringing financial stability in the future for you. So, you know, get out of your head, understand what is happening, um, listen to your own in a guide as to how oh, you're going to be starting your business or any new job that you take on at uh, this timeline in your birthday season, which is the 12th until the 19th of April, you are going to be very, very um, wealthy going on in the future. Your money flow is now clear and is open for you to um, accelerate and take any financial stability. So the energy of the ring is yours. 
go and look under the energy of the ring or you can better this because it's always about even though you know you have internal and external success it's about you um keeping this flow going this momentum going until the year 2022 i do love you guys um you can come back and check out any one of the crystals but um symbols but your symbol is the energy of the ring new contracts uh, are going to be coming in new business, um, new work, um, new promotions um, is going to be coming up for you guys. It's going to be a very, very powerful year for you, Aries. So please remember to use the link. These um, symbols, the link will be below this reading. Use the link to get to the other side. Um, when you're joining, use the second subscription. And that second subscription is $4.99. And you can access... Uh, um the archive for a month if you want to extend it it will be good because you will then become a vip anyone that is uh, um extended a uh, person um you become automatically a vip person okay i gotta go and say namaste until next time i do love you guys please thumbs up like and share these videos namaste